Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. During fasting, Habitifillah, very imperative that we use our time wisely, we read the Qur'an, we make dhikr to Allah Azza wa Jal. That doesn't mean we stop the rest of our lives, but we should try to make as much tafarrag fi ibadah, as much time that we separate ourselves and devote ourselves to using this very important period and time uh, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this time is legislated for that. And this time is an obligation for us to fast and it's a time in which we directly strive to attain taqwa. Because again, that's our goal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem. كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Fasting has been prescribed for you similar to the way it was prescribed to those who came before you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In hopes that you will gain taqwa. So fasting is a wasila, it's a means to gain taqwa. Fasting is a means to gain taqwa. And it's an exercise and it's a practice to gain taqwa, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this taqwa, habitat fi Allah, it means... Adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibition. So during Ramadan and during fasting, strive your utmost to do more good deeds and avoid evil at all costs. Avoid backbiting, sitting around people who have no benefit, uh, listening to people who have no benefit, indulging in things which has no benefit. Uh, looking at things which have no benefit, in fact, which only have harm and, and only entice you to do the muharramat. So this is a, a, a specific time to strive your best to be better than you usually are. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا كان يوم الصوم أحدكم فلا يرفض ولا يض يصخب فإن سابه أحد O qatiluhu fil yaqul inni sa'im mutafaqun alayhi Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when any one of you is observing fasting on a day he should neither indulge in obscene language nor should he raise uh, raise his voice and if anyone reviles him or tries to fight with him he should say I am observing fast inni sa'im I'm fasting I'm fasting this hadith in and of itself is, ex is self-explanatory and the benefits are immense. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and to forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who benefit from our fasting.